So now let's figure out how to put the flute away. We have the name facing the ceiling and we've opened up the case. And if you'd like to get on the floor to do this, or perhaps you'd like to sit on the floor and put this part on a chair, um, someplace where you can easily get to the case and it's not going to fall or drop. Um, let's start by putting away the head joint. And in order to do that, we wanna hold the flute here where the name is and simply turn gently and pull the head joint out. Looking at the flute case, you'll see that there's a short stowage space here a longer stowage space here and then a very long one toward the back where the lid attaches. We want to put in the head joint here and most cases have a little cutout spot for the lip plate to go so that you can tell which way it goes. If I try to put it in the other way there's no spot for my lip plate so I'll know that's wrong. The lip plate tends to be toward the inner part of the case. Next we can take off the foot joint and in order to do that, we just hold the flute again at the name and hold the foot joint here. We don't want to squeeze on any of the keys or the rods. So hold it maybe around this area someplace and gently, gently, gently twist. It'll come right off. When it's time to put away these two pieces, you'll want to pay attention to where, which part of the flute has the rods. Here are the rods going up and down on this one and the rods going up and down on this one. The rods go toward the outer parts of the case. So here's the foot joint. I'm going to put it in this way with the rods along the outer side of the case. If I try to put it in this way, it will not fit into the slot and the case will not shut either. So we put it this way with the rods toward the outside of the case. Now I'm left holding the flute like this, but when I try to put it in here, it won't go because the rods need to go to the outside of that rectangle. So if I turn it around, and I can also see my stars there too, my stickers. The rods are along the outside of this rectangle. So if I'm looking all the way around the rectangle, rods go down that side and rods go down this side. Now when I close my case, I shouldn't get any resistance and it will just gently snap shut. If you start to close the case and you notice that it doesn't close, Do not smash on the case. Don't stand on it. Don't sit on it. Don't force it. Bring it to someone for help. Bring it to a teacher or someone else who knows a lot about flutes. If the case isn't closing, that means something's wrong. And in this case, you might be saying, well, I put the rods at the outside. How come it's not closing? Well, because it's upside down. The keys, the busy part, the busiest parts of the flute face upward. So we want the big, busy part up and the rods along the outside. And that should be the way that your flute case is. And then you can gently shut it. Ta-da! And your flute is safely packed away in its hard case.